Aswan. What's the first? The first is three in, in, in Cairo. The first is what? The first is three locates in Cairo. That's the name, three? No, no, no. I said this is the fourth biggest cathedral uh, in the Middle East. Yeah. Okay. You asked me what's the first one? Yeah. The first one is in Cairo. Yeah. Okay. This is in San Simon Monastery. Um, and the second large one is the main cathedral in Cairo as well. And the third one is built up from three years ago in the um, new Cairo, the new capital of Cairo. Ah. Huh. So all three are there? Yes. I see. That's what you were saying. Sorry, I'm just waking up. That's okay. <laughs> You know, I have to get my ears toned to the ear muffled of the face mask. Pa Mi Ti Mai Graves? What's and that? Here is Fatimate Graves. Those are all cemeteries. Dates back to the Ini Fatimate period, which is something like the 11th century AD. It's still in use until this moment. Muslims are still bury their bodies in those smitteries. Oh yeah? Huh. Not like Cairo where they have their own houses to bury the bodies in, huh? <laughs> Crazy. Who told you that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, in Cairo they have like their graveyards or houses. And they bury the bodies they in the used, houses. They used the graveyards like houses because there was a problem in the um, accommodation so this is by the early 90s uh -huh. but not anymore our president nowadays he just canceled and tried to get rid of all those habits and graveyards are just the graveyards and he built them in new cities this is beyond cairo just to know that to uh, replace and relocate all those people who live at the graveyards uh -huh. he built them very fancy houses by the way almost yeah. almost free they pay like ten thousand dollars just in order to own an apartment to three bedrooms is like 75 a square meter which is really nice and almost a free of charge and they don't pay all that amount in like like at once so they paid in deposits huh it used to be that's true by the early 90s until nine in 2014 or 2013 but right now all the big cities is built up for those people <coughs> hmm. well in cairo they say that the government oh, little puppy mm -hmm. in cairo they said that the government uh uh, ripped up all the graves to make like uh, some kind of I can't remember what it was a road system or a highway or uh... There was some yeah, that's true because the social <laughs> media started to talk about this issue Yeah, they thought that it's historical uh, sites. Yeah graveyards. Yeah, but none of them Okay was historical like 11th century or something all those graveyards had been destroyed they had been built by 1920, 1915, like that. It's not that old to be kept as an antiquity. Uh, and the documents saying that. Documents. Yeah, because every antiquity has documented and has got like a number, a code. And this code explains and tells us it dates back to which time. Hmm. 
I see. It was over 50 or 60 years. Cattle is like as what you have seen. And the population increased a lot. So in Cairo, from 50 years ago, population was about two or three million. Right now we're talking about 15 to 20 or 22. So the- what? Only a couple years ago it was only No, I, I, I mean 50 or 40, 40 years uh, ago. Uh, uh. 40 years ago. Right. So, and the streets are the same width and the infrastructure, it's the same. This is why we suffer a lot from keys in traffic in Cairo. That was the main project of the current president and the current government <coughs> to build up a new capital of Egypt. The administration, new capital of, of Egypt. This is a new Cairo. And he's part to get rid of like old buildings, not ancient ones in order to widen the streets and make it smoother. Hmm. Well, you know, I really don't see that big of a problem in Cairo. I mean, for sure there's a problem with the car traffic, but you know, quit being lazy, walk or take the Metro. <laughs> Even the Metro had been renovated a lot. Yeah, yeah, well. Even I'm the Metro. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure five years ago it was way worse. It was but, very bad. Yeah. But I think now it's not that bad for a city. So no one really knows the population of Cairo or something. People tell me it's 20 million. You told me it's 10 million. Other no, people no, no. say I, 40 I, I million. I said it's or, 15, or 15 to 22 million. during the rush hour. We know in the estimation according the uh, those people who had the right to vote at the election. Okay? Uh, and then so. we must add some couple of million or something which is children and old people and some right. people they don't got the right yeah illegals. foreigners illegals right so we always know that estimation from this pace the number of people had the right to elect i see uh-huh what are they building here a sky a new train bridge oh bridge that's a new bridge folks battler with the older british name huh i see Yeah, and I, I just don't... Those houses, all those houses, built during the early British occupation. Yeah, they don't so look like... So this is something like 1890, 1895. And he destroyed some of them in order to build a bridge. Does it consider the antiquity? It's the same like what the social media people speak about. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. That's what people, everyone wants to complain about their population, but it's like, well, damn, quit having so much sex. And people people want to complain about, oh, I have no money, I have no money. Well, and they wonder why white people have money. White people have money because we, uh, we, we. Uh, sorry. It ended at um, 1932. But no, no longer this is not used. It's used, but like is it the electric? We, we don't the, paste on that. But is the electric still used? Hydro electricity, yes. Ah, okay. So there's actually then there's actually two dams here in Aswan. Exactly. The high dam is the dam over there. Yeah. This is the old British dam. I see. Hmm. So this is the problem. But population is in a big trouble. I can't believe only 7% of it. Egypt. Wow. Yeah. Huh. So how come the leader here doesn't drill more oil? What is the reason of this? We don't have a lot of oil. We just got a lot of natural gas fields. And we discover a big field by the border between us and, uh, and uh, Greece. And um, also we're still discovering a lot of natural gas. And I think from last year, we got enough of natural gas, so we don't import a lot. We start to export from this year. But oil, no, we don't have that much of oil. Well, why, why? why we started to based on uh, solar power. So we start to build up a big fields of solar power from three years ago. 
and the, the projects say that from Aswan down to Abu Simbel, which is something like 250 kilometer, all the desert going to be full of solar fields, solar yeah. panels. Well, that's better than drilling oil, but exactly. I, oh, look at the beautiful sun! Wow, but it's kind of hard to believe that Egypt doesn't have no oil when uh, you know, what's your next country over? You know, Sudan has oil, northern Sudan has oil, but not right. that much. Oh, okay, not they that have much. oil. But Saudi Arabia is we cannot be compared with Saudi Arabia, Gulf countries has a lot of oil. Yeah. Libya has oil. Yeah, Libya is right next door, yeah. So why would Egypt not have oil? <laughs> it's luck. I think it's just <laughs> I think it's a political move. Or something Maybe to do with Maybe they this. give it yeah. as a strategic move. Yeah. Wow, oh, beautiful sun. Three hours of driving to Abu Buda. Abu Simbel. Abu Simbel. Hmm. This is a uh, high dam here. So, what'd you go to school for? I first went to the um, Faculty of Education, the English department, to be graduated as an English teacher. Yeah. I studied English in the proper way um, four years. Uh -huh. And then I studied uh, Egyptology in Alexandria University for three years to get like, um, after graduated diploma, to get my license working as a tour guide. And you study hieroglyphics. I studied Egyptology in general. Hieroglyphic is included a part of the Egyptology. Mm. So antiquities, history of Egypt and um, hieroglyphics and even language. We have to study language as well. Which so language? The, the English. Whatever language, uh. because true guides, they do speak all the languages. Right, right. Egyptian true guides are the only true guides along the world. In which they speak French. Spanish, like the main languages beside Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Persian. You find some guides speaking Hindu as well. Huh. Well, okay. I think many places do this, but. We started driving through the Sahara Desert. This is the Sahara. Egypt has a part of the Sahara, same as Morocco. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you went to school and then you had to serve in the army? <laughs> All the boys in Egypt, if they are not a single child, okay, if they are not a single child, they have to do the national service. Oh, but if they're a single child, then they don't have to. No, single child not. They don't have to just in order to take care of their families. I see. And then if you go to school... Uh... After graduation, everybody must go and serve. If or before, right? No. You can go before? No, just after. Hmm. After you finish your study. I okay? see. If, if you are not in a school, if you are not in a university, for example, right, you have a certain age. By the age of 18, you have to go and finish up your national service. Well, if you have high qualification, it's only for one if, year. If you have high qualifications, it's one year if you are not physically fit enough. If you are fit enough and could be qualified and serve as an officer, that could be three years. Huh. So, right? You, if you're fat, but, but three if you're years, fat, if you I'm only fat, get to serve one year. Yeah, one year. But if you're skinny, <laughs> you know, and poor or something, you have to serve three years. But if yes. you're smart, you still have to serve the three years. Uh, but a normal, yes. sol a normal yes. soldier has to serve. This is Lake Nasser. Nasser's Lake is the biggest man-made lake in the world. It's 550 kilometers long and widest point is 34 kilometer wide. Lake Nasser is a part of the River Nile, but it's man-made. Man-made means it's not natural. Once we start building the high dam in 1960, 
we plop to the original current of the River Nile. That's in Aswan. And then we realized it will make a huge lake. And this lake is very important, like a huge water reservoir, good for plantation. And also to me, the water levels different between uh, the, the dam in front and behind. This is how the hydroelectricity is generated. So Lake Nasser, this is why we call it man-made. Man-made, it means it's not natural. That's it. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't mean that we dig in order to fill it up. So, um, so how, do, how does the desert hold this water, though? You would think that it was just would soak up the water real quick. Because it's sand, dirt. There's, sand, dirt. Yeah. One, two years, five years. But after that, the sand absorbed all the water. Yeah. And that, that, that's everything. So we kept filling it up from 1964 up to now I see and this is why it's so huge like that and that was the goal once we made the lake like this we realized it will destroy the temples locates behind the dam and even the history the Nubians so Nubians those who live behind the dam their houses had been completely destroyed mm. and completely submerged by water this is why President Nasser at that time told them that you have to relocate, you have to migrate. And all the new He didn't give no money to them or nothing, He huh? gave them an, an, another house and gave them the land. Ah. So he built them houses, he gave them a land to live in. And he promised to them that you will come back again to live around the shore of Lake Nasser. But once the water level comes in a fixed certain level. But actually, they relocated into north, but they didn't came back again into the motherland around the lake of around the lake monster. No, but in because general, the government lost their promise, didn't give them another house near the lake, huh? Yes. <laughs> All lies and lies and lies. Politicians always lying. pretty green here and stuff so we are around the lake yeah. so with the with it being so hot here you said it gets up to 57 degrees always always 57 mm -hmm. degrees Celsius mm -hmm. this is like death <laughs> I'm dry so not so even humid so then, uh, so hot like this, how much does this lake evaporate from? It evaporates and then the water comes next year. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying how much of a meter height that is this? Um, 10 right, meters, no, no, you no, know? No, no, less, less, less. Oh. If, if we talk about half a meter along the lake, that's a lot of water. You can grab yeah, your water from here. 500. Yeah, please. How was the original Nubian houses? Were they all this colorfulness or was this just part of their plan to make m money or something? No, they used to paint the facades of their houses using the heavy pride colors because that reflects the heat of the sun. I and see. always the design, the architect of their houses used to have got domes and crypts and aisles. It's not a flat slab at all. Now their ceiling is not flat always has domes and always built out of mud bricks because that is very essential for their environment that makes the house cooler from inside it gives it like 10 degrees cooler than usual hmm. well that's a big difference yeah and always so how come all are, the houses aren't like that if the if the house is nubian built by a nubian it will be like that. If the house is given to a Nubian, it's gonna built out of concrete by the government. Uh -huh. You got it? Yeah. So that's even hotter. It's 10 degrees hotter. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the government, huh? Americans, because France is now closed. Really? Yeah, yeah, France. Is France just closed? closed. Yeah, France just closed. Yeah, no. last week. If you want to go to Egypt. Oh, it's open, but if you want to go to France, closed. Ah, okay. 
Yeah, France is closed off. So I don't know how they're... You mean closed for Americans or closed in general? Closed. They just... Europe is closing back up from COVID. You don't know this? It's some countries because... Yeah, France what, what is I one. Is Greece. They just closed some provinces. Yeah. Okay, this is what they declared. And France, they said, we will if the numbers increased. This is what I hear. Although but I don't know that closed. they start to lock down no, no, even no, the airports. <laughs> Startus? Oh yeah, the record. Fuck, that's yesterday, not... Not yesterday, you were there? It was uh, 45,000 people sitting oh. one day in 24 hours. The record in Europe... The record in starts to increase. Yeah. Yeah, that's a more political Welcome bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> we almost had no cases. <laughs> it's weird, huh? In France. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow, look at this. This lake is amazing. Maybe the weather. Well, I don't, don't know. Tell me about, because some people, they talk about genetics. The, the African genetics are, yeah. they got like antibodies against the viruses. The American movies. Don't really? I don't know this. <laughs> only the white, they're only killing off the white people, huh? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So the black people don't get sick? No. <laughs> Ever. I'm sure about myself. This is what about the brown people? So, the brown um, people don't really get sick either, here, huh? Told you it's not a free. Yeah. But right, so once you get in, you pay outside. Okay. The brown people don't get sick either? I didn't. Maybe huh. others did. video of how they removed all the pieces. The last bus really is ready to be transported and by a strange coincidence it bears the same motto as that of the rescue operation, the unity of the upper and lower Nile, the symbol of fertility. Already on the plateau, the workers are getting ready for the reconstruction of the temple. Before that, however, the ground has been leveled and the angle of reconstruction calculated exactly so as to achieve twice in the year that same prodigious light effect. And the reconstruction of the interior of the temple begins. I'm in the visitor the center. Which we use to safeguard the dismantling of the temple are used again. Thanks to the precision with which the box are cut, the process of reconstruction seems to be Another one too? Two separate ones, huh? So this lake is 550 kilometers long. Two thirds of it in Egypt, one third is in Sudan. Hmm. Wow. Comes from south to north. So this mound and stuff, this is not natural. They put this here too. Exactly. This is a man-made mountain. 
Uh. So they made a huge concrete dome over the temple itself. So it's not solid from inside. If you dig in here, it's hollow. So go Why would you do that? Because it's impossible to move a mountain. And the car, you told me that they re relocated the mountain. So you will see. So they just took the temple from inside the mountain. They kept the mountain as it is. Uh -huh. and then they built another mountain. I see. Higher. Same size, not higher. So how did they know approximately like this, the, the lake water was going to be here? Because that's that, pretty good. Uh, no, that's estimation, okay, is something like is a must. It couldn't exceed 181 meter in front of the dam, uh. the water level. level is 181 meter which is this level by the way right. so this is the peak it couldn't go higher than this this is why they moved it up 24 sorry um, yeah 24 meters above the water level and 114 meters back so this temple was down the cliff down there it was down there yeah i see face off huh like original or did it fall off they discovered it like that so once they discovered it like that they decided to just keep it serena yes 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 once once i tell you the story you can go inside the food temples as you like well yeah but you would think that they would fix it back to normal if they did all that work but once they discovered it at 1817 it was like this so they need to just as they find it, as they discovered it. Well, so but they the didn't, they down moved down the whole down. entire thing. <laughs> okay, but also I tell you that the face of the third statue had been stolen. And right now the face is in England. Well, imagine that, they steal everything, huh? Uh, not only UK. Oh well, yeah, America, UK, UK. France. He types us. This is a, a tribe in between Syria and Libya nowadays. Okay, after the famous battle King Grams and the Great Maid against the Hittites, he decided to marry the Hittite princess to be his third legitimate wife. But once he married her, he finds she is not enough. So he looked for another lady, and the name of the lady was Nifert Ari. Nifert Ari. He called her Nifert Ari. Her real name was Merit Kara. Merit Kara, the beautiful spirit of the god Ra. Okay, so he called her Nefertari, and Nefertari means the most beautiful lady among them. You are the most beautiful one among my wives. He stayed with her until she died. Once she died, he lost his mind. He kept getting married, getting married, getting married, ladies, until his last wife, wife number 43, she was Nefertari's daughter. Nefertari's daughter from himself. So he married his daughter. 
just looking for Nefertari at all of those wives. I need to find Nefertari. This is why King Ramses married a lot of ladies. He has got almost 170 children. One in 11 of them boys, rest of the balance girls. One in 11 boys, rest of the balance girls. The son number 13 of the King Ramses, he the one who followed him after his death. His name was called King Mir in Bitah, and his tomb is in the Valley of the Kings and it's opened. Okay, so King Ramses, when he delivered the kingdom, he delivered it strong. King Ramses, he delivered a very strong kingdom, starts from northeast, the border between Syria and Turkey nowadays, south to Ethiopia, a big part of Libya. That was all Egypt. His dad, King Siti I, was a great, strong warrior. So when King Ramesses received it like that, he wanted to keep it as strong as he received it. This is why he made a lot of battles at the first 20 years of his reign. And this is why he represented the Battle of Kadesh at all the temples he built. I'm the one who beaten the Hittites in Kadesh. And there are some manuscripts in some papyri had been written and shown and tells that King Ramses the Great, he killed 50,000 from the Hittites military using only 10,000 of the Egyptians military. Imagine 10,000 killed 50. Right? One of the texts King Ramses the Great said about this battle that I was fighting me and my horse. And once the battle ended, I found 5,000 had been killed. He and his horse just killed 5,000 from the Hittites military. Let me tell you that King Ramesses was a big liar. Unfortunate you to say that. King Ramesses did not won in this battle. He did not lost it. This ended with the first non-aggression pact and the peace treaty to be drawn in the whole history. And this is why King Ramesses married the Hittites princes after that. Okay? So that all happened in the first 20 years of King Ramesses' reign. Then there are something like 46 years. King Ramesses doing the world's peace, no battles, no enemies of Egypt, Egypt is strong, Egypt is big, so what is doing? Building temples, adding extensions to some existed temples, this is why we call him the great, King Ramesses the Great, okay, the greatest builder who ever came to Egypt. But this, he's not from here. He's Egypt, he's Egyptian, okay, just became a king of Egypt, so he's the greatest builder. This temple took about 18 to 22 years to carve it in a mountain. That was dug out of the same small mountain. Just down there. Okay. When we built the dam, we realized it will be a big trouble, a big problem that it will cover by water, submerging water. So this is why we ask it for the international help. Please help us. We need to save this temple. That was the goal, saving this temple in particular. Okay, and there is a lot of donations came from different nations along the world just to save the human heritage sites in Nubia, south of Egypt. A lot of proposals came to Egypt describing how the temple is going to be saved. And we accepted the Swedish proposal from a Swedish company. This is said that we will surround the temple in a coffer dam and then we'll start to cut the temple piece by piece from outside to inside. We will cut only the temple, only the inscription, carved in a mountain, okay? So if the mountain is like this, okay, we will cut only this piece has got the inscription. We will keep the mother rock as it is, okay? That can be moved up and backwards until we finish cutting all the temple, and then we will assemble those pieces back again like puzzles. But we will build just like this, and cut to make it exactly like the original mountain. They work it day and night. That was the goal. Okay? But after that, they find out there are still 39 temples in the lake will submerge in water. So why not? Let's save some more. And then they asked for donations. And they said, we will find out the best historical temples, like the best value, 
easiest to move, cheapest as well. And then they just decided to move 13 temples more than this. So total temples have been covered by water are 40 temples. gifted to different countries and some temples taken by different countries in a way or another like Spain they got a temple Germany they took a temple Holland they took a temple Italy they took a temple those were the temples had been lifted from Egypt into so none of the temples are here just the big ones uh, we still got a lot of temples, by the way, and still a lot of temples down water until this moment. So how many is that? 40. 40, we saved 14. 40, we saved 14. So under water, there are 26 temples. 26. As the UNESCO estimated them. That's a temple beside the Nubian heritage sites, beside the houses and the fetus, In general, that to this temple dominates the facade of the temple. There are four, four pillars on all of them, King Ramses the Great, King Ramses the Second. And all of them were identical. All of them. Okay? So the first one lost to the first spirit and the temple of the double crown. The second one lost to the temple of the double crown. The third one is destroyed in four pieces. There are three pieces down the statue. And the fourth one, which is the most important one, the face of the king himself, that had been stolen to UK by now in England. <laughs> the fourth one is the most important one. Those statues have been discovered like that. Gonna badly affect the walls. Huh. This is why. And also, once there was a lot of tourists, if every guy took his go and explaining each yeah, scene, it would be very loud. a lot of people gonna miss visiting the temple. That's why they stopped it completely. It's my love. So you'll find the temple divided into halls and chambers. The first hall, we call it the first Hebrew spine hall. You're gonna find six statues, all representing King Ramesses' stands like the god Osiris. Like this. Why is that? Because this temple is considered a memorial temple. Something to let the people remind the king after his death. Not anything else. So the king is dead right now. Okay? That's made just to remind him, remembering him. So King Ram stands like the God's Spirit. And just behind the columns, you'll find on the walls the military seats. So this is more about the glory, the daily life of the king himself. The king Ramses is riding the chariot, killing the enemies by himself, doing everything. He is the one who led the battle by himself. Okay? Killed the enemies by himself. He is a military leader. Okay? So that's all represented in the first court. Inside, once you pass the first, go into the second one. The second one is more spiritual. Okay? More spiritual means that the king is relation among the gods. What he's doing?
doing, burning incense, making the gods happier, okay? Giving a lot of offerings to the gods. That's my relation, my spiritual life. Before going to the second chamber, before going to the second court, you're gonna find three doors at that side, two doors at that side. The doors has got long and big side chambers. Two sides, total five side chambers. Those used to be shrines, chapels for the gods, not a storage rooms. They used to be chapels for the gods. Something like a chapel for the god Rahul Bhakti, one for the god Seth, the evil god. The god was considered the end of the god Horus. Okay? So those were the side chambers. And then there is an antechamber leads to the sanctuary. Sanctuary were the King Ramesses sitting among the gods. First god staying here was the god Rahur Ahti. God Rahur Ahti, he is this god, god Ra, the god Horus the Great. And then the second guy is King Ramesses the second. Third guy is the god Amun. Fourth guy is the god Bidah. There is a great phenomenon happened always in 21st of October, 21st of February. The temple was an original location. When we moved it up and backwards, came in the 22nd of October, a few days ago, 22nd of February. The sun goes in sunlight during the sunrise, just to rise and penetrate over the face of the King Ramesses and then leaving back. It happened only two days in a year. Yeah, from fall to spring or fall to winter. And... We think it's like two certain days, maybe one is birthday, one is coronation, all right? But in general, that happened. 21st, sorry, 22nd, October and February. This is not a great phenomenon. This has and nothing to do with the, the seasons? Nothing about the seasons because what happened in this, the sun comes for the first guy. Second guy's Ramesses just touches a moon and leaves back. It never come over complete of the complete face of the god Amun. Because Amun is he, he is the invisible, the unseen god, the god of darkness. So it's against the religion, against their belief that the sun comes over the face of the god Amun completely. And the sun never come and touch the face of the god Bitah. Because Bitah is the god of creation, he's the one who created the sun. So I'm not waiting, the blessings come from the god Ra over my face. This is why we think it's not more about seasons. It's more about something that's made in purpose. Okay? But why is two days? Maybe the seasons. But why never come into here? Maybe religion. So this is astrology. And this is what happened for that temple. The other temple is a cute gift, gifted from husband to wife. So it's a feminine temple. Once ladies has a house, they got a house, their houses are pretty cute, but not big. Males mentality always believe that bigger is better. Once I have a big house, I'm happy. But ladies, once I have a pretty house, I'm happy. So that temple is very small compared with this one. But in general, there are six statues located on the facade. Four of them is King Ramesses, one of them is Nefertari, and the other one is the goddess Hathor. Hathor, she's the goddess of love, music, and dance. And he represented Nefertari, same size as his. It's a kind of respect, it's a kind of love. I love you and I respect you. This is why I represented you to be like this. Okay, so it's a very cute feminine temple, has got columns and pillars only in two courts. Okay, at one side of one of those columns, you'll find the Queen Nefertari stands wearing a fabulous dress and she's playing music. She's the first lady in a country, wife of the king. And on the other side, you're gonna see the face of the goddess Hathor, okay, like a beautiful lady, has got two ears of a cow, all right? And then you're gonna see a lot of flowers gifted to the goddess Hathor, and all those flowers given 
by the Queen Nefertari to the goddess of war. Huh. This is about the second temple. It's allowed to take pictures inside the temples using your phone. Not allowed using your camera. Okay? okay? And I noticed that you don't have a camera. This is why I didn't told that to you. Because outside they sell a photography ticket using a professional or using a camera. And that is 300 Egyptian pounds. Okay, that's good to see. Right? So just, it's allowed to take pictures using phones in the two temples. Whatever is mysterious. You don't understand it, please click a picture and show it to me once we meet outside. Once you finish here. Okay. Okay? Right now is about 10 past 9. 10 past 9. 10 o'clock is nice. 10.30 is nice. Whatever you like. Okay. Whenever you need. 10 o'clock, I think. It's okay. Done. I will see. 10 is nice? I have no idea. Let's say one hour from now. 10 15. We need to meet outside the where I dropped. Okay? It sounds good? Time. Have a good time. So, see that they moved a whole entire mountain. in here how did they do all of this wow moved this whole mountain crazy look at this Should be like the same story on this side. Huh? Here's the fertility god you can see. <laughs> His uh, penis. Amazing. This doesn't look like it was moved at all. Truly amazing. Wow. That's the biggest table I've seen in all things. <laughs> Amazing, I can come in here and got pictures all by myself. That's pretty, pretty nice. No travelers, no nothing here. It's very dark in this room. At least it looks like it in the camera. Amazing, I got a good phone to take good video. Sooner or later, oh, here's another god of fertility. <laughs> Sooner or later, they're going to start charging for cell phones in all museums because the cell phones are getting so good in cameras. 
Now, I already know that they're already starting to do this, but luckily I can still, because it's crazy price, 300 for, imagine paying 300 pounds. It's like, it's $20. $20 every shouldn't more than the ticket price. So here's more offering room. I mean, literally, they made exactly the same, huh? Crazy. It's very weird if these seats were in here like this originally. So the people came in here and sat down. Hmm. And on the wall up here, all the way down in the middle. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, this this room here is unfinished. Very hard to see, but wonder why it's unfinished. Huh? Yeah. Seems like no colors in here either. Hmm. Why are you doing this? Why are you? Geometry sacré. Like pray? No, no, no. It's, it's, the, it's same, the same, uh, the same uh, shape. Yeah, yeah. So we just Francis make it. Tu veux sur les trois pieds? Tu veux to think? Uh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. At the time. I thought and maybe you, you were like yes. praying it's for it. It's not, it's not praying, but uh, it's just to to understand how they could work with this ah. um, this thing. Yes. I see, I see. And okay. it's the same shape. It's the same yeah. shape. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay. Good. They call this the temple for his love. And yeah, you can see lots of the offerings, but then they come here and they're killing the people. So, what the hell? Wow, very nice color here. 
That's the best color I've seen. operation that they got going on all army controlled too huh no that's not made by army they're not controlled by army wow who's it controlled by a private guy Pro no so the um, um the government rate it's a governmental one huh. Nothing but dirt. 